This is the long way LWK3010D 30 volt at 10 amp adjustable DC switching power supply. And in this video, I'm gonna do a review on it. Hmm, where do I start? Ah yes, the disclaimer. You know, cause everything needs a disclaimer these days. So this was sent to me for free by Banggood. Now if you've never heard of Banggood, it's very comparable to Amazon, but it has a lot of parts, electronic, specifically electronic parts, that Amazon does not have. In fact, a lot of my night vision parts I got from Banggood. If you're into FPV or stuff like that, uh, it, it's, there's a lot of stuff there that you could use. We've all watched those reviews done by small YouTubers like me, and basically like, they can't say anything bad about the thing they're reviewing. Oh my goodness, everything about it. It's it's, it's so perfect. Please send me more stuff to review. Yeah, I've seen them and usually I just... All right, now on to the review. So basic description of what this thing is and what it does. This is a DC switching power supply, meaning it takes alternating current, which is what's in your house, and it converts that to direct current, which is what your phone runs off of and a lot of, it's basically the kind of electricity a battery makes. This is adjustable, so it goes up to 30 volts. It's advertised at 30 volts. And then at 10 amps too. It can run off of 110 or 220. It has a switch on the back to adjust between the two. It has an off switch. It has uh, these fancy doodads that you can twist out and put a wire, wrap a wire around there and twist it back on and clamp it back on. This one over here got corroded because I was, uh, I had a lot, I was using a lot of salt and sodium hydroxide because I was uh, making some iron oxide and uh, somehow it got back and uh, was able to corrode this one here. It still works, it just doesn't twist out and clamp the wire in anymore. Um, but yeah, this thing has an output voltage, as I said, of zero to 30 volts and an output current of zero to 10 amps. Voltage display accuracy is supposed to be plus or minus 0.5%. Current display accuracy is supposed to be same thing, plus or minus 0.0, 0.5%. Efficiency is supposed to be greater than 85%. That's all the basic stuff. If you're an electrical engineer or somebody more advanced, um, then you can go to the website. There's some more technical like uh, load regulation, line regulation, noise, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all the basics. Price, it costs $55.90 at the time of this review. That is freaking cheap. Other 30 volt at 10 amp power supplies start around the same price and can easily get up into the hundreds of dollars. I've been running this thing for the past four-ish months to see whether it's worth spending your money on or if it's just a piece of CCC. I ran it for like weeks straight at eight amps and sometimes 10 amps maxed out to see if I could burn it out. And uh, it's obviously uh, still working just fine. It, 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 it passes the will it last category. I was making iron oxide, as I said, and uh, I made a whole tub of it here. It's been uh, evaporating for a couple, for about a week or two. And a uh, nice bit of iron oxide helped boost some rockets. Yeah, that's good stuff. It does have a internal fan here. So when it gets up into the eight or 10 amp range, it'll turn on for a couple minutes at a time just to cool it down. So that's probably why it can just go on and on and on. Um, it doesn't get very hot, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, and it's a uh, metal construction on the back and plastic construction on the front. So next category, how accurate is the voltage reading and does it, the website says plus or minus 0.5%, does it, is that true? Can it, can it get to within 0.5% of what it says on the screen? So I have my trusty thermometer here. And uh, the one I burnt the <laughs> amperage reading out. Right now I have it all the way up at 32 volts. So it goes two volts higher than advertised off by 0.1 volts. Pretty good. Let's uh, do a couple 
different ranges. So that was super high. Let's go down. So I have it at 18.3. So it's uh, 18.2 and a half. So that's, that's off by 0 0.05. So that's pretty good. That's really good. Uh, let's go down to 9.7. See. Ta! Right on the button. All right, let's go down some more, down to 1.3 because I do a lot of uh, hydrogen gas production and it's nice to have really uh, accurate voltages at low, at low voltage. 1.12. It's, uh, I think it's coming down to lack of adjustability. If I move it just a tiny little bit, it moves point, uh, it moves uh, 0.1 volts. Just the tiniest little bit. So that could, that's probably due to the, I can't get it right on down in the lower, the lower voltages. If you're running it at 10 amps or just a little bit more, uh, it does drop a couple volts. In my experience, it's about four volts. If you want to turn it all the way up to 32, 30 volts, it'll drop about four at full power. Okay, final thoughts. So this thing is pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers that just, they, it's because it's cheap, there has to be something bad about it. So, uh, but I mean, if I had to complain about one thing, it'd be these things here and that they didn't come with uh, plugins. That would be my one complaint. If it had uh, like, a, like, an al like alligator clips that you could plug in there, uh, that would be, that, that's, the, that's the only problem I see with it. Uh, these are kind of cheapy down here and uh, I, I may, I, I would probably just end up taking them off and uh, just putting alligator clips, soldering alligator clips, I don't know. But uh, yeah, otherwise, for what I do, and for just like hydrogen and electro any kind of electrolysis and then maybe some night vision parts here and there, just basic, not like super high tech stuff. This gets the job done perfectly. And I actually like it, and I would have spent, actually had this in my cart when Banggood emailed me saying, is there anything you want that you could review? And uh, I'm like, oh, well, I have this in my, my cart. Um, and they sent it out. They also sent a doorbell, like a wireless doorbell, uh, just random thing. But uh, maybe I can incorporate that into some sort of uh, wireless, trigger system or something. But yeah. Anyway, thanks to Banggood for sending me this power supply. Links will be in the description down below. Uh, they will be affiliate links, meaning if you click on them, uh, I get a small commission for referring you to the website. It doesn't cost you anything though. Um, so that's good. Helps to support the channel at no cost to you. Please like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos which are going to be super cool, super interesting, and you're not going to want to miss them. So uh, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.